Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one. So today we're going to talk about some royal foolishness, right? And as I haven't really dug into the whole Prince Harry thing, but I'm going to make a video specifically about how much of a beta simp this dude really, really, really is, right? This, he, he should honestly be ashamed of himself. Seriously, I would put him, Russell Wilson, and Will Smith, and like the pantheon of like, the worst excuses for men, right? So, so we're gonna get in this article here, and it's talking about how Meghan Markle doesn't like the South Park episode and how it portrayed them, and then also how Chris Rock bodied them too. So it's basically over for Meghan and Harry. It's over, right? This whole f foolishness, the victimhood stuff, people aren't having it anymore. And I think that a lot of people couldn't really put their finger on why. But the South Park episode and the Chris, Chris Rock commentary summed it up so well that it basically put the nails in the co coffin. So we're, so we're going to jump into this, guys. But please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It really helps to keep this channel going. So Meghan Markle has been upset and overwhelmed by portrayal on the South Park ev episode. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's portrayal on Wednesday's South Park episode could have legal ramifications, according to royal experts. So, guys, let's just stop here. You never try and go after South Park. It doesn't work. In the 28 years of South Park's history, there have been multiple celebrities that have tried to go after them. It doesn't work. Even Tom Cruise tried to go after them once. It doesn't work. And it makes you look stupid. Because South Park, as genius as it is, is still a cartoon about a, a singing poop and fart jokes. You know what I'm saying? And that's the best thing that, that the creators know. It's like, if you get angry at South Park, it says a lot more about you than it does about the show, right? And these two knuckleheads right here don't understand that. Because, of, of, of course, they're victims all the time. So it says, Meghan Markle is reportedly not too happy with how she's been portrayed on Wednesday night's episode of South Park. Uh, though the Duke, oh, excuse me, a source told told the spectator that Marco has been upset and overwhelmed by the episode's release and is annoyed by South Park, but, but refuses to watch it all. Please. You know? Though the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not directly named in the episode, it features characters clearly described as Canadian royalty and dubbed the prince and his wife, which clearly parodied the couple. In the parody, the young royal couple begged for privacy while drawing the attention to themselves in a spoof-like -like way. And that is true. We, we just want our privacy. And yet they're doing this world tour and, you know, interviews with Oprah and being seen around L.A., right? Uh, so... The episode, guys, if you haven't seen the episode, it's hilarious. It really, really is, right? And they didn't lie at all. There's that, we want our, our prophesy, you know what I mean? So, royal commentator Neil Sean said that there could be legal ramifications due to the latest episode of the show. First of all, what is a royal com commentator? And what qualifications does one need? Please. Their, their legal team are casting an eye over the episode to see what's wrong and what could be turned into something more sinister. This appears to be their course of action rather than la laughing it off, enjoying the moment, and showing the world that they get the joke. So, so this guy's right even. He's saying, dude, just laugh it off and say ha ha ha. You know? Because you guys, do you, I don't know how, how into South Park you are, but you, you know who took South Park like a champ was Lord. You... You remember that one Royals chick, uh, the singer, and Stan's dad is like, I am Lord, I am Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord laughed it off, and that made her more popular, you know? So, yeah, so they're whining and mo moaning, blah, 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 and just making themselves look worse. And let's move on to Chris Rock, right? So, uh, Chris Rock bodied them too, right? And now you can see here that Harry and Maeve, Megan South Park savaging sees their popularity in the U.S. slump even further. Duke's approval rating drops minus 10 while his wife hits minus 17. 
making them less popular than Andrew. Man, look at that. <laughs> Since December of last year, Harry has sunk 48 points and Megan has sunk 40 points in, in the U.S. And that's because we're tired of it. We are tired of these two. Honestly. Oh, we're, you know, we're, we're royals and we are, we're victims and blah, 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 blah. And all Chris Rock said is he, he summed up on our side. Meghan Markle is a actress. She's married to this, this dude. The drama is just basically what we would consider in, in law drama on a Tuesday night. And she's making it. Oh my God, please help me. Blah, blah, blah. You know, so people are tired of this. And they can't take a joke either. I mean, come on, man. And now they're starting to see uh, uh, the actual negative ramifications of their foolery. So, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams, if that's not a British name, said fears over security and a seismic drop in popularity since the publication of Harry's memoir means that they could stay at home so they're not trying to go anywhere man oh man oh man guys look at these knuckleheads man so now they're saying oh should we fly over to the coronation nation for the king even though they've talked all this trash about the royal family and here's another thing of why these idiots drive drive me nuts guys i've never cared about the royal family i'm an american right like, I don't get America's obsession with the British royal family. How are we, as the United States, that had the Revolutionary War, right? How are we caring about, about this? And these knuckleheads keep bringing this royal business, like, into our, our consciousness. It drives me crazy, so. All right, you guys, let me know if, if you watch the Chris Rock spe special. I recommend it. It's fantastic. I'm going to do a... A video on how Chris Rock bodied Will Will Smith, right? Because it was great. And then let me know if you've seen the South Park episode, because it's great too. And like, guys, let me know if like what do you think that it's over? Do you hope that it's over this Megan and Harry thing? Because I hope it is. I'm tired of it. So, all right, you guys. This is AJ. I appreciate you guys. You know. If you have to deal with this because your 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 girlfriend or your wife makes you watch this, <sighs> I feel sorry for you guys. I really, really, really do. I mean, just try and turn it off. You know, get it out of the algorithm on your phone. It's the only way to stay away from this unless you watch South Park, and then we can point and laugh. So, all right, you guys. This is AJ. I appreciate you. I'm out of here, man.